In this video, I am going to show you how to make a lot of money. Uh, in the very beginning, when I started buying non-performing mortgages, I would talk to the borrower, get that borrower, start making monthly payments to me, uh, something that I thought was a reasonable amount. It didn't have to be what the original amount of the loan was. Let's say the borrower is making $600 a month, uh, goes non-performing, I call them up, they say they can afford 350. I said, you know what? Let's make it 300 bucks. And we'll do that for two years and then we'll talk again. And if you can up the payment, you can up the payment. And so I'm taking a non performing note, turning it into a performing note. And a lot of times I would take that cash flow and I would sell it. I would sell the note to another investor. And that was probably not the best idea. And so what I want to show you here is my what I do now. I don't sell the note. I hold the note for the for its life. I sell a part a portion of the cash flow. And so I just had a uh, an investor call me up I'm making this video for him, but I'm making it for everyone else too. He called me up. And he says he's got a performing note that he wants to sell me. I said, do you own a financial calculator? He says, no. I said, go to in a day development and get yourself a financial calculator just like this on your phone. I happen to have it on my desktop too. I, I live by a financial calculator. It is a religion to me in, the, in so speaking, meaning it is a very important part of my life just like religion is a very important thing as well. And so I carry this financial calculator with me everywhere. I run into an investor who's got something to sell me. I take out my calculator and I'm going to show you how to run it right now. So let's get to this partial. He calls me up. He says he's got a performing note that has uh, 120 months of payments, which is 10 years. So I take that 120, I put it up into this top field, and then I type, I touch the N, which stands for number of payments. That's what I call it per month. That's 120 months, 10 years of payments. And he's getting $795 a month as a payment. So if I leave the interest rate at zero, I come up with the present value of $95,400. So technically, he is going to receive over the next 10 years, $95,400. Now there's a, there's a value to that $95,400. It's not $95,400 because it's going to take 10 years to get that money back. So he could sell that cash flow right now to another investor at a 10% return for 60,158. He would be giving that investor a 10% return over the next 10 years for a chunk of change today. He could get his hands on $60,158.57 today by selling that $95,400 cash flow. If he gave the investor an 8% return, that number jumps up to 65525 When I first started doing this, I would give my investors a 5% return because the world was much cheaper back then, meaning interest rates were a lot cheaper. CD rates or certificate of deposit rates or certificate of disappointment rates were much lower. Uh, people were getting one and a half or 2% return. They thought they were a genius if they were getting a 5% return. So, this works for everything. PV stands for present value. PMT stands for payment. 
and FV stands for future value. You don't even have to open up the future value uh, button. We're just going to work with these four very important buttons right here. As long as you keep your future value set at zero. Um, I'll get into future value on, a, on the next video. So the number of months, the interest rate per year, 5%. Present value, which is 74,953. Now this field is always a negative number and you use this button to make it a negative number. Uh, you use this plus or minus button here and a monthly payment. So let's do that again. Let's just zero everything out. Zero. Zero. Zero for the interest rate. Okay. Again, he's got a 10-year cash flow, 120 months. We're going to put that into the N for number of months. We're going to leave the interest rate at zero. We are going to, we know the payment is $795. We populate that in. And then I hit PV for present value. Present value of that note with no interest rate is $95,400. He wants to offer his investor an 8% return. Now we're going to populate the 8% there. And all I have to do is touch the PV now, and it will recalculate the present value at an 8% return. $65,525. He could sell 10 years worth of cash flow today for 65525 get his hands on the 65525 and go out and buy more deals with that 65 grand and then just keep making his monthly payment to that investor is 795 for the next 10 years it's perfect now let's say your investor doesn't have $65,000 your investor only has enough for, I don't know, let's say 24 months of payments. I can put 24 in here. I can change the present value to whatever this 24 equals at an 8% return. So let's see what that looks like. So your investor wouldn't even have to have $18,000 to buy two years worth of seven ninety five. dollars Now let's see how much money that would actually cost the investor put zero in for the interest rate and recalculate. So he's selling $19,080 worth of payments for $17,577. You see how that works? If you want to give your investor a 10% return, you just fill that in, touch this button, and it recalculates. You want to give them a 20% return, you put that into 20%. And 15000 selling at $19,000 for $15,600. Zero again, $19,080. Okay, I hope this video helps. It changed my life. It could change your life. Because first of all, you're walking around with your financial calculator looking for numbers to plug punch in there you go to real estate investment meetings you bring this with you somebody tries to sell you you can you can make offers with this uh i bring this thing with me when i go to a new car dealer and i'm buying a car uh, i bring my financial calculator and i blow the guy's mind he's like i've never seen anybody use one of these things before except me this is how the world works folks financial calculator. Okay. My name is Mike. No conference. And uh, hope this video helps. Join my website, trulypassive.com. Uh, I'd love to see you on there. Uh, we do nothing but talk about money. All right. Take care.